I did the first details of the game and I wanted to go over everything that there is to know so far about gameplay, settings and features. There's a ton to talk about so let's jump straight into it beginning with the release details. Battlefield 2042 will be available on October the 22nd and will launch on Xbox, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, alongside with PC on Steam, Origin and Epic Games Store. So on October 22nd, it will be launching on every platform. But of course, before then, you could expect an open beta. There will be an open beta for the game, but more info will be shared leading up to the game's launch and the exact dates are not known so far. There will be hosting a closed playtest on July 22nd that will most likely be for content creators and the like because it's under NDA. So it will be at some point after July 22nd, which is the date of EA Play. What about game modes and the player count? While well, iconic modes Conquest and Breakthrough will return in Battlefield 2042, which I will go over, and there will be a player count of 128 players on Battlefield, but that is only for the Xbox X series, PlayStation 5, and PC. The player count for the older consoles has not been revealed. Conquest does return, as you would expect, as it's the main game mode, but this time it supports 128 players, so the maps have been designed specifically for a vast scale, with action divided into clusters of various kinds. There's a bit of a difference for the new Conquest mode, which now centers around sectors consisting of several flags each instead of individual control points, presumably because the maps are quite big. The other game mode, Breakthrough, sees two teams, attackers and defenders, battle over larger scale sectors as the attackers push towards the final objective. Each sector is designed to house a larger number of players, enabling more strategic choice and more flanking opportunities. Approach the capture area from multiple locations and take advantage of more types of tactical possibilities. There are a couple of other game modes. One is called Hazards, where you squat up and drop down into hazardous zones in an all new high stakes multiplayer experience, but the details of that are not known and they will be revealed soon. There's also a section on the official Battlefield 42 website that's redacted, and all it says is you will be able to explore the wider Battlefield universe and discover unexpected battles, but that will be revealed at EA Play on July 22nd. Now fortunately, the reveal has given us a lot of detail, including all of the new maps. The maps in Battlefield 2042 allow for all new gameplay experiences with unprecedented scale and choice. With the introduction of so many players, each map is specifically designed to provide a unique experience that directly impacts strategy for you and your squad. Battlefields have multiple distinct combat areas housed in a single play space, and this extra space means more variety and more meaningful vehicle gameplay. The first map is Orbital in Kuru, French Guinea. It's a race against time and hostile conditions as you fight around the site of an imminent rocket launch. Watch out for both enemy fire and upcoming storms on this dynamic map. Hourglass is set in Doha, Qatar. Fighting a city lost to the desertification around it, massive dust and sandstorms are constantly rolling in, blotting out the natural light as you battle for control of a combi tapped in the shifting sands. Kaleidoscope is the big city one that you see, and it's set in Songdo, South Korea. In a state-of-the-art metropolis in South Korea, zip line between skyscrapers and fight among the plazas surrounding the city's iconic data center. Manifest is set in Brani Island, Singapore. Watch out for tropical tornadoes and navigate through maze-like cargo containers in this key trade location vital to American supply lines. Discarded is set in Alang, India. Along a strategic section of India's west coast, colossal ships stranded on the beach are being stripped for parts. Fight among the hulls of those behemoths while adapting to deadly storms. Breakaway is set in Queen Maudland, Antarctica. You have to tread carefully on this dynamic map where oil extraction has turned the freezing area to a strategic hotspot. Take advantage of destructible fuel tanks and silos that create debris fields and permanent fires when destroyed. Lastly, there is Renewal set in Egypt. A giant wall built to secure rich man-made agricultural areas. Take center stage at this intense map. Prepare for the extreme conditions. Deploy and secure the access points and massive gates in the wall. So all the maps are designed around a dynamic world where conditions are constantly changing, there's challenging gameplay, and of course there are plenty of storms and environmental hazards to deal with. So those are all the maps. What about the arsenal, weapons and vehicles? 
Well, you can use a variety of weapons, vehicles, jets, helicopters, and equipment inspired by the near future of 2042. You can summon a ranger, which is a robotic dog you can see in the trailer. Use a Serati pistol to revive squad members from afar. You can use grappling hooks, which is one of the specialist abilities, which I will talk about next. You can use a wingsuit, deploy a recon drone, and plenty more details will be revealed, including hopefully a list of all the weapons. What about the specialists? You get to choose your role in Battlefield and form hand-tailored squads through the new specialist system. Based on Battlefield's four classes, specialists have one unique speciality and trait, but the rest of the loadout is fully customizable. So far we know of four specialists. Webster McKay, an ex-military lone wolf survivalist, McKay is an ass kicker with a conscience. This Canadian born assault soldiers fights for the non-patriot to make right and regret for his military days. You can see his couple of unique abilities right there. Maria Falk, veteran support. Maria Falk has a strong will that cannot be shaken by danger, fear, or rank. This skilled medic's primary motivation is to find her son David among the non patriot groups spread across the world. Boris, a self motivated and self fulfilling, Boris seeks to acquire power and control in a chaotic world. The Russian born engineer is a very experienced weapons expert on the task force, although his true attachment to the team is suspect. Lastly, Casper, recon soldier, is a loner. He's unflappable, calm presence on the task force. An introvert, he does not make acquaintances easily, but his determination to fight for a better world is rock solid. So there is also six other specialists coming to the game, but they haven't been revealed yet and so are secret right now. I'm sure we'll find out more about them in the coming months. That just leaves us with the live service of the game and future updates when it releases. So Battlefield is taking a new approach to live service for where players will be given the service and evolution they have come to expect from different multiplayer games in recent times, all aimed at keeping the community playing together for years to come. To do this then, they will be evolving the world and expanding on the fiction through seasons, each lasting for about three months, and every season will come with a new free and paid for battle pass, delivering new content to chase after. In the first year of live service, they'll deliver four seasons with four battle passes, four new specialists, along with more fresh content. And basically, they're just going down the road of every other FPS shooter at the minute, where they'll be adding seasons every year. So guys, that is all we know so far about Battlefield 2042. The gameplay reveal is on June the 13th, that's just a couple of days away, and then more will be revealed at EA Play on July 22nd. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment about the game down below, and most importantly, stay awesome.